Good morning. It is six o'clock and we are already up because today is garden day and we need to finish this garden. It has been highly requested for me to show you guys how I do my garden. So I'm going to bring you along with me today. I have to dig up the ground, a patch of ground for the vegetables. I need to finish building the grape structure because the grape tree is out of control. Plant what I have in the house. Um, and then just general cleaning and fixing bits and just getting the garden looking finished. Well, it's never finished. It's always a work in progress, but a huge step closer. And then that will mean all of our veg is planted out, which is amazing. And then I can grow a few more bits in the house if I want. Just keep it going. Hello. We finally come downstairs. Hello. Oh. Are Hello. you ready to do the garden today? Yeah, of course. Love it. Obviously, coconut water and lemon juice and our green juice to start way. with. But yeah, feeling good. Looking forward to this. These guys are ready to go out. The runner beans are out of control. They need to be held up with sticks, but this one needs to be planted out too. This is the structure that we need to finish. We need to put the bits going along the top for the grape tree. The grape tree is here and growing very quickly. Um, and this is the patch over here that we need to completely dig up. And then we have raised beds to go in and then plant out everything. But you can see everything is growing. Things are starting to sprout. Are you helping Billy? Are you helping? That's you know you good. shouldn't be near the vegetables. Billy. Are you watching everything get watered? Cucumbers need a lot of water. Is she doing water. it properly, Billy? I'm just telling Billy that cucumbers need a lot of water. We need to fix the hose. Yeah, no. That's a job we need to do today as well. I mean, this is taking the mick a little bit, isn't it? He's a lovely Billy. boy. Billy. Lovely this boy. This spot, for some reason, all three cats love to do this. It cools them down. And I don't actually want to tell them off because I don't have anything planted there. The idea is they won't do it anywhere else. <laughs> <But they're>, oh. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to film this or vlog this, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to take you along the day, really, and explain things. Just so you know, Stefania and I aren't like pros here. <laughs> she may be, but. We grew up around my grandmother in Italy who had a veggie patch and then we just did it ourselves. So it's, we're sort of self-taught. We can only give you our advice and what we know, but it's pretty easy. You just need to have a lot of stamina and strength and build that up because gardening is a lot of work, but it's a silent gym. It's a workout. You'll feel it the next day for sure and you'll look better and more toned, which is what we all want. Go on, Steph. Well done. Sweating. Good. That's what you nice want. Arms. Hopefully. Think about the future body exactly. About the arms. Oh, hello. Look who it is. I know she's been watching. Hello, Millie. She's very shy. We always keep the most random stuff around the house as you just don't know when you'll use it. And it's better not to throw stuff away. Um, so I don't know what these are from. We've got two random bits of wood which we're going to use for this structure because <laughs> we don't really know what we're doing we're just making it doing it how we think but we need to hold some bits together so they will do regardless of where they've come from what are you doing Sarge? just securing <laughs> This part of the grape tree with some string, old school. This I might use some wire. Um, yeah, that look, will do some a bit bent. Yeah, I know, I need to sort that end. Bye. Bye. It's peeping Tom. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Tommy's come to see his girlfriend. Tommy. Hello, sweetie. Have you come to see your girlfriend? Have you? Have you come to see us? 
Oh, hello, Angel. Hello, Angel. Tommy was poorly yesterday, but he's okay today. He must have eaten something funny. Hello, gorgeous. Have you come to see your man? Are you happy he's here now? These guys just, no, oh, they just love each other. Whenever they meet, they rub noses. Cute, cute, cute. So we have these old bamboo sticks that we use in the garden and instead of throwing them away we just cut them up to the size of these and use them as the, the pieces going across to hold the grapes in place. So it's great because there's no wastage. Stefania's made the piece for the grape structure which is the longest that goes across. Looks good. She's hurt herself, but that's all part of it, Steph. It's dangerous, this gardening. So you guys can see, we now have the pieces going across and now this one is gonna go in the opposite direction. We're going to probably do about two or three, yeah. And then I need to tie it in. Is that all right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We never finished the garden yesterday. It got to about 12 o'clock. It was so hot, we had to stop. But we did finish the grape structure, which we're really happy about. But that patch of soil for the raised beds, it was so hard, it's so tough because what we didn't do is we didn't water the soil and we've had no rain for a couple of weeks. So it's got really, really hard. So to dig it up is really hard. And then you have to smash all the soil down into very fine soil. The beginning of the vegetables when they're sprouting they can push through otherwise it's, if it's big boulders of soil they just they won't grow through and it's hard to do in the heat so back on it today and fingers crossed we'll get it done i'm sure we will, we will. we've done the hardest bit stefania's like we will she's already started as you can see we've dug up the most of it it's just that middle patch obviously and then all that, although it looks good, when you re-dig it, more bigger pieces of soil come through. So it's about continuing to dig it up until it's just fine soil. And then the raised beds are ready to be put together. These were such a good find. I've been looking for raised beds for a while and like, on eBay, they were like 30, 40 pounds. These ones are large ones and we found them in B&Q. What did we pay for them? 15 pounds each. So we're really happy with them. And those two are both going on that area there. I did manage though yesterday to plant out some of the runner beans, which are here. Basically these were growing or sprouting indoors, but they were so easy to do and they grew so fast. I mean, you can see how tall they are already and I've only just planted them out. I could have planted them out earlier. I just didn't have the space. You put two sticks together, like a kind of teepee, and then you let the plants wind up them and then the runner beans will hang. So they look cute. I still have more inside to plant, so I'll put some over there and I'll see what else I've got. But that's the grape tree that will eventually grow all up and over that which I'm so excited about. And then that's our garlic. This, guys, is our spinach. It's ready to go. I think we're gonna have it tonight. And when you cut that, it will just keep growing. So it's great. This is our lettuce. It has taken some time, I'm not gonna lie, and there's not a lot. I don't know if the seeds were old, not sure, but I'm happy with what we've got, I'm grateful. And then these are cucumber. Um, and normally when you plant into a spot, you do two or three seeds and all of the seeds have <laughs> come through. 
What I'm gonna have to do is dig these up when they get a bit bigger and then um, separate them so they have room. This, I think, is Rocket. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on with that. Last year was really great. This year, not so much. And then over here is a type of chard. It's, I mean, I got this from Italy. It's called Bietola. I don't know, I'm not sure. I know that's chard in English, but I don't know if it, there's a type. Not sure, but that's looking good as well. Over here is another load of tomatoes. We have another two of these upstairs. So there's gonna be a lot of tomatoes. I might have to separate those as well. And then here we have zucchini uh, courgettes. So you can see I've got two or three that have come up. And also in the back there, I've got two that have come up. They need to be planted quite far apart because they grow very big. So that's fine. If that's all that comes up and grows, I'm happy with that. These are carrots. They're already sprouting through. And then just behind it are turnips, which are doing extremely well. And then these are more tomatoes. And basically this structure is built because when the tomatoes get bigger, you kind of, they sort of lean because the tomatoes are very heavy, so they can weigh the plant down. So the idea, I actually need to make this a little bit more taut. Um, so yeah, when they grow, then the tomato tree or plant doesn't fall and the tomatoes can grow. Over here we have our rockery and we have like herbs growing. So over there is mint and with mint, the more you pick it, the more it grows. So it's always good to, to pick it. This is our sage plant, which always does so well. We just don't use a lot of it, but it looks good. And then just behind it here, is dill but we've only just planted that so there's not it's very sparse and small so i think i'm gonna get some more seeds over here is our parsley area again this has just been planted so it needs more time because what i'd like to do is have this whole area like bursting with herbs that is an absolute dream so that's the goal. I just need to find some herb seeds because they're quite hard to get. Basil seeds are a nightmare to get right now. And this one is our rosemary tree. Rosemary is so easy to grow also. So I think, yeah, that's it for now. That's what it's looking like. Really, really happy. Stefania and I were saying how we can't believe that we've done this all. So it just shows you we're just doing, you know, and learning as we go. So if it's something you want to do, just do it. Just do it. And obviously we have Google and stuff like that now. So you can ask it a million questions about particular veggies you're growing and stuff like that. We have finished patch oh my god it was so difficult the sun started to creep in it got very hot and uncomfortable but we powered through and we did it so we're just gonna take a break and wait for it to shade back over which usually happens around five o'clock so in the meantime we are taking a break We've got, these are so good. what are these? Mr. Free Tortilla Chips, cheese hands. flavor. Gorgeous, wow. that's working hands. Beautiful. Um, these are so delicious. They're our new crisp obsession, mm. along with a cold glass of kombucha. Gonna... <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, well done. We also found, while we were digging, a coin. So this is a pound coin and it is, 1983 that's when it came into circulation excuse the way i look i've literally been gardening the whole time but this is a moment i'm coming outside to pick the first bit of food from my veggie patch um it's the spinach and we're gonna have some with our dinner so i'm gonna cut goes like that that's been left too long that's it flowering and we don't want it to get to that stage I've left it a little bit too long 
but I'm cutting all of these off so that the leaves just can continue to grow. Freshly cut spinach grown in our garden, organically. Look, Steph. Oh, what more do you want? Beautiful. How amazing. Wow. What a feeling. From a seed. From a seed. We just have to throw away nice. yeah, these, bits. these flowery bits. But I've cut them all off. Wow. We had to put jumpers on because it's got a bit chilly. We're gonna build these raised beds. over there. Before we put the raised beds into the patch, we're actually gonna throw manure all over the soil because it's really good for the soil. It gives it lots of nutrients and helps things grow a lot better. So I'll quickly show you that. The manure has been marinating for two weeks. <laughs> so with the manure, you mix it with water in a bucket and you let it sit. Oh, that looks good. Gorgeous. <laughs> and you basically mix it and mix it and mix it over time and then you chuck it over where you're going to plant so this is horse manure we got it from the farm down the road from us and um, it's free you just gotta scoop it up yourself oh i can smell that oh that really stinks when the direction of the wind is to the house shut the door no it's fine <laughs> it's such a vital oh Having the manure is just so important because it just adds so many nutrients and vitamins to the soil. My grandmother one year, I'll never forget in Italy, we built her this planter, it was really, really high and deep and she had no soil to fill it with. And we live up a mountain, there's tons and tons of stairs. So it's such a struggle to get anything up there. So her neighbor had horses and she got them to dump the horse poop into this planter to see, you know, just to fill it and see if it works. Cause she normally mixed manure with soil anyway. I swear to God that summer, we had the best tomatoes I've ever had in my life. So you need to then dig in the manure, which helps it mix in really well. <laughs> So we're going to go and buy some, but they will both be full of fresh soil. Nothing can be planted where the manure has been for at least a week as well. So I think that's it for today, Steph. Yeah. Well done. We did good. We did really well today. We did so much. Look how good everything looks. And I've got a washing line. And Stefania's got a washing line. That's what she's happy about. That's the best part. That's it, we'll, ch we'll check back in when we've got soil and we're gonna plant out some more of the veg inside. I can't plant any of that out now because of the manure situation and obviously the lack of soil, but... Why can't you plant with the manure? Did you kill it? Yes, um, the manure's just too plant. strong. So it would just kill it? Yeah, it would just, it would just kill the plant. It's nearly and a lot, of, a lot of them... <laughs> what a feeling out of the shower i've had a good scrub washed my hair after those two days of hardcore gardening and i'm feeling good i'm so pleased that the garden is done or basically done the hard work is done um there is really something so peaceful and calming and satisfying and healing about gardening i'm really gutted actually that I've got not much more to do in the garden. I'm sure we'll find things to do, but I love it. I love it so much. I suppose now we can concentrate more in the house. We want to paint some rooms. Um, 
organised a load of stuff. So there's always stuff to do in a house. There's Steph. Hello. She's nice and clean as well. I'm clean. I needed it. And now we're going to sit down and relax oh. with a plate of banana cake. Very nice. I made a banana cake the other day for the first time. Oh, it's delicious it. and that's the end of it. So I'm going to have to make another one. And then we're up early tomorrow because we have a full day of content day and meetings. So another busy one. Sunday fun day? No, not fun day. Sunday work day for us. Monday fun day? Monday, no. Monday's Ikea day. Oh. I'm so excited. That's not fun day. I can't wait guys, I've literally got a list of stuff. I'm gonna get there an hour before it opens so that I'm not in a queue and I'm the first one in and the first one out. Um, so I suppose Tuesday's the next day, we can chill. Movie night Tuesday and I'm not picking, so pressure's off of me.